Yeah. <laughs> Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. That wasn't where I was going to start the part, but well, you did that weird pause or whatever happened on the save file screen. I had to show that. What, you're back? I mean, hey, hey, you're back! I see you're ready for more. It's written all over your face. Onward then, there are still more star power stars out there, Captain! Heck yeah! Woo! Oh no, it, c it couldn't possibly be Peach! It's impossible! <laughs> hey bro, still looking for the star power stars? If you need any help from me, just look for the L on Sasha Mario. I'll switch with you anytime, bro. Luigi! L stamp. So yeah, you see that? See that? On the... Well, remember I was saying that there was something that was going to open later on in the game on the back here? Look at that! Oh, let me up, let me up! Look at that, and now we can play as Luigi anytime we please it. <laughs> yep, you unlock Luigi for good post game. Alrighty, so. There it is. World S. The special world. There's also a comet hanging out over there at Bowser's Galaxy Generator. Uh, I think I think I'll save that for now. Actually, I just want to show you the new special world because I'm all excited to ish because of a certain galaxy that I remembered is the galaxy that I was dreading playing. It's here. Whoa! Can you believe it? This must be that strange legendary world we've been hearing rumors about. There are even more star power stars around here. So let's go get them, Captain. Okie dokie. This right here is the world of death. Yup. Yup. But we're not talking about that one right now. We're going to Mario Squared Galaxy, which of course is going to be played by Luigi. But <laughs> it's the Mario sprites make Mario a star. I should say Mario NES sprites. Oh man, with little flippy flip panels to color Mario properly. All right, here we go. Now, I don't remember if I need to actually leave some platforms so I can- Oh, okay, yeah, thank you for reminding me there. I was gonna say, I don't remember if I'll need to keep some platforms to come back. Yes, I will! Because <laughs> the star is gonna be here when we finish. There's some stars way down there, too, by the way. I'm gonna go all over here first, and uh, kind of clear out what I can thusly. There's our Comet Medal over here. Pretty dang easy to get, by the way, the like, these platforms. They disappear on their own, and if you don't realize what this place is, it's basically sort of like an almost copy pasta of uh, the Toy Time Galaxy's place in Super Mario Galaxy 1, which is okay, I guess. It's just not as fresh as other stuff in the game. <laughs> Some moving sentry, well, mobile sentry beams hanging out around here is having a good time. I'm just gonna go. Oops, I didn't mean to. Well, this is, that'll work just fine. We'll, we'll be we'll be okay. <laughs> oh well, we're not gonna be okay. I thought I could have gotten that coin, but that nah, the beam was just a little bit too low, a little bit too low. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the same path. Around. Just giving myself a nice relaxed way. Oh. Like relax way through this dealio. There we go. Out of here. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. <laughs> Got bumped around there way too much. And you're going away. There we go. Where's the comet level? So yeah, it's not all that long of a galaxy or anything like that. It's just just basically Toy Time Galaxies star back slightly. <laughs> I'm trying to keep those uh, green ones, uh, you know, those platforms that disappear when you land on them for as long as possible because, you know, it's kind of helpful to have a little bit of a, a backup plan in certain situations. Uh, oh. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Not like before. Okay, I'm just gonna go and do this this time. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go zigzag around this way instead, because they follow your they said they track your movements and yeah, I'm just gonna zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Da -da 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 -da. Victory Oh yeah, except for the beginning, no, that's okay. <laughs> not, not a big deal if I miss the beginning suck because I'm going back there anyway, but yeah, I just wanted to go around the oops, I wanted to go around the perimeter more than anything. Just to kinda finish 
things in little little cycles as we go. And there is our star. Now don't fall into the death. <laughs> I should actually, uh, before I grab that, I should get those star bits hanging out down below there. There we go, I feel so much better. That was great, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo>. Woo! <laughs> Next up, more special world, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. 107, we're getting close to 100%ing ye old gold stars. Ghost appears now because we played as Luigi. I, why did Ghost even show on that one anyway? I'm almost, I'm like, what, what's there to even see? Is it gonna point me over to the Comet Mellow? I, I guess I could see really quick. Maybe it's gonna show some sort of secret underneath the platform somewhere. I just want to see that really quick, because I never really thought about that before. Like, what what secrets of the ghosts will pop up out of this? Give me that. <laughs> or is it just like a tutorial on how to do this as smoothly as possible? It might be. <laughs> Here's just, just follow the arrow. There we go. It's not really. Yeah, it looks like he's just kind of going where you would think he's going. Yeah, it's, it's not really a super secret run or anything like that. He's just taking a different route than I did. <laughs> and as, as a matter of fact, he didn't even go over to the uh, Comet Metal. And yeah, I mean, maybe we'll eventually see him do something. I don't think so. He just, just seems to be more like a... A hint as to how to actually beat the level. Like, the, see, the arrows didn't even go over to the comet metal over there, and then we're gonna end up over here, and this is gonna finish it. And Luigi is already back over. Can you see the sprite over there by the star over there? Maybe you can. Maybe whoop. Maybe you can't. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, there is. There he is. It's okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess there really wasn't anything extra to show here. Yeah, that's why, that's why I'm not really too keen on showing off all the ghosts in, in that fashion, because they don't really show all stuff that you don't already know of in a lot of cases, just by exploring normally and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> that was, I, I guess, interesting to see, but yeah, it's, oh yeah, nuclear time, because I was zipping around this time. You can go for the time trials if you want to. That'd be pretty fun, actually. Let's unlock the next world, and yep, we're gonna be rolling on a ball. Heck yeah! Another one of these. <laughs> that was 75 stars, by the way, so we are well ahead of the star curve here. Rolling Coaster Galaxy. Is go the Rainbow Road Roll. Yeah, it's a reference to Mario Kart. Only it's actually fresh because we actually got something new going on here. Unlike the last galaxy. <laughs> you know how this works. Jump on the star, point it directly up in the sky, control like a joystick. And you can also jump. Got it? Good. Alright, so go, 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 I shall slow. Oh, no, okay, slow. Slow, relax. Uh, I, I really want to point at those star bits, but I can't. I can't. Oh, nice pun there. Nice pun there. You're gonna be like full Mr. Flubba there. <laughs> Alright, my bombs. Okay, they might blast you off the edge, so don't anger them, don't touch them. It could be problematic. Go to the right if you're an expert. Why you want to go to the right if you're an expert? Well, there be a whole bunch of goodies over here, including the Comet Medal. Yeah! I kind of want to show the left route, though. Just just for kicks, though, but... I don't know. I could leave it for later, because there's still a prankster comet to be had around these parts and whatnot, so... I, I think I'll be able to take the other route later. If not, I guess I could just flip-flop over there and do it myself. Oh, no, no, no. Those star bitches came out of nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think 
I'll be able to show it later, but if not, I'll just replay that, I suppose, if need be. Or re replay this one, I should say, if need be. Anyway, I'm talking too much about an alternate path that I'll end up showing anyway in the future, so... Whatever. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Rainbow Road... With Rainbow Ride music, <laughs> in a way, I guess you could say, you know, from Super Mario 60, uh, yeah, 64, not, I was gonna say, cart, but no, that, <laughs> yeah, there's, 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 there's all sorts of rainbows in the Mario universe, let's put it that way. Whew. Alright, 108, delightful Comet Metal, Ghost, eh, now that'll probably just show me over to the Comet Metal. <laughs> Oh, man! I should probably go back and do that now. Yeah, this this one's gonna be a blast from the past, like the other Toy Time Galaxy one. Like, remember we, we flipped around on the original Toy Time Galaxy to do the Luigi side of the planet? Well, this one also has a Luigi side of the planet. It's Luigi's Purple Coin Chaos! It's back! It's back-ish. I mean, it's still... It's not quite the same. It's probably easier, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Because it, it, the coins aren't really in as awkward of spots. Grab every coin in two minutes! Oh, and there's also Cosmic Clones. But, you know, that was kind of... <laughs> it's, it's just, like, the original didn't really feel like there were any Cosmic Clones to begin with, if you think about it, because there was... You couldn't really go back when you would do stuff anyway, because there were all those green platforms that would fall away anyway. So it's like, eh, eh, Cosmic Clones. Like, what, what are they doing here? They really don't even need them to tell me I can't go back. <laughs> I don't know if I start switching the camera around at this point. Uh, yeah, maybe I could. Uh, that's a, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was saying. I should just look around as I need to to plan ahead. Anyway, just keep casually walking. Oh shoot, that's not good. Casually walking around here, getting those coins in a row like the ducks. That, that, oh, that's not a good position. Well, I can I can recover. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go and get those other coins last. Thusly, there we go, shoot! <laughs> okay, now I gotta go back and forth here. Oh, that's, that was terrible, actually. Uh, that might actually cause a problem, depending on... Well, I use my invincibility time. <laughs> Good enough for me! Good enough for me. I totally missed that. Oh shoot! Totally missed that coin there. And I also totally missed my spin jump. But yeah, it's it's definitely a lot easier than the original. I think I am <laughs> I just yeah, it's just about planning like the other one was. Except there isn't as many coins in precarious locations as there were in the original. So yeah, it's, I'd say it's a little bit more balanced out. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe if you're pr feeling pressured by the uh, cosmic clones, you might feel obligated to run a lot faster and make mistakes, but you know the whole trick about the cosmic clones, that you just, you know, you just run ahead whenever you please, but, you know, just like do these little, little scooches if need be, but there's also the uh, timer, maybe a, a little bit that could add a little bit more pressure, but at the same time, you're still going to be making good time because of all the... Uh, yeah, fall away blocks and everything like that, so it's, <laughs> it's like all the pressure is in the actual design of the level itself. And also with all oops, also with all these uh, yellow blocks, there's not a lot of super dangerous areas like there was before. Because you can always long jump from one spot to the next, unless, you know, you miss a purple coin or something like that, and that's that kinda kinda could be devastating in some cases. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna go and do this, and come back for those other two corns. How do you like those apples? A little spin for the ones of all the said delightfully dark matter. Yeah, there we go. Almost there. We've got this in the bag. Woo! All I have to do is do a nice fancy long jump to get back, and then turn the camera around, thank you, and get all the star bits that were left over from the Cosmic Clones, yeah! <laughs> 
See, not nothing like the original, but it's still a challenge, you know, in itself, I suppose. Alright, let's do another star, I suppose, too. <laughs> it's only been about 13 minutes or so, I think, on the camera's recording. Something like that, because, you know, I always cut off the beginning and whatnot while I do the setup time. Because I'm just kind of shuffling around. <laughs> There's just nothing really to show there. Oh, I, I guess I could do that one now, too. Okay, <laughs> just consider the first two galaxies uh, completed then, and then I'll perhaps maybe be able to show that left side route then. Oh, oh man, exotic. <laughs> you know, the one that I talked about for way too long. Yeah, that route. Alright, rolling coaster galaxy once again, and now we've got purple coins on the rainbow road. This is why I would be taking the left route here, because I believe the majority of the, the purple coins are on said left route, if I remember correctly, but eh, eh, we'll see. I don't think you have to get them all, though, but you have to get most of them, and there's also a time limit. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's, it's, it's pretty high speed, so... I want to see, collect 100, but that doesn't mean collect all of them. There's only 110, but they're, they're all, like, really in your way, so... Oh, and also that ball is now purple. Yes, I coin do it. <laughs> and also that ball is so big that it's kind of hard to miss them. That's, that's, that's another thing here. Oh, no, 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 oh, oh. okay, there we go, there we go. Say, because, yeah, because since the ball is so big, it covers a lot of the, of the land, and it kind of trivializes things. Oh, okay, careful indeed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I gotta get all those coins that I can kind of get away with. <laughs> Just to make things as easy as possible. Oh, no, it actually is making me take the uh, harder route on this one. So, okay, I guess I'll just have to go through the regular one as normal to uh, take the other route to show you what it's like. Uh, there we go. Oh, man, one minute, but I've already got more than half the coins, so... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, slow down, slow down, You're a little bit to the outside there, okay. I only missed the one. Mm, I missed the two. Uh, I'm not really concerned at this point, because I don't really have that many coins that I'm going to miss along the way, and I get a couple on the air here, and it's like you get a little backspin on your way down to the ground there, as you kind of slow down in place nice and comfortably. This should do it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, the timer ended, but you don't really get any sort of star just yet. Oh no, you gotta reach the end. Like that uh, slide. Oh wait, no, no, I mean no timer, but... <laughs> no wait, there was a the timer, excuse me. But yeah, uh, and I guess that also turns into... <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. But I mean, there the team timer just really was there to be there. You really did it. Amazing. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> and it's like when you're always going at high speed. Was was it really matter if the timer is like, all right, I shall do so. Maybe someone will be able to get 110 coins on that. I don't think it's that hard to get a perfect 110 score on it, though. But well. Well, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah! Alright, 110 stars, galaxy complete. And now, before I end off the part, we're going back there one more time! Because <laughs> so I want to show you the left row just, just really quick. So we're going to select the regular star, because obviously the... Uh, um, expert star, or I should say the comet star on the right, blocks off the entire left route completely and forces you to take the expert route. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I can tap that ghost there and have a good time. <laughs> See what Luigi has to show. It's probably just gonna go along the comet metal route. Uh, I'll just see where the arrows go and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> you can't really stop yourself from going super fast on those at times, though. <laughs> Always seems like that your buddy there goes much, much faster than you do, and yeah, he is taking that route. Experts stay right. So I'm gonna go on the left route now, just to show you. It's, it's actually a little bit more interesting than the right route, IMO, because there's this thing to get the one up on, which is an interesting little challenge. Regular coins, but bombs to blast you around, and, you know, as opposed to there being a a thin thing just to avoid, um, and that, oh, 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 I think that was it, actually, yeah. 
Now we're back on the regular track, so I don't know why I'm even bothering to finish this. <laughs> but yeah, the, um, the expert and regular track just kind of merges at one time there. Ghost Luigi took the route of the uh, uh, Comet Metal. I took the route of the... I, I guess you could say easier route. It, I mean, it is definitely easier because there isn't as many bottomless pits death moves or anything like that, you know, that, that you're going to get knocked in there if you accidentally touch one of those support girders or anything like that, but, you know, you know, it's just, I, I find, I find that the easier one is actually more fun just because you can get blasted around, there's all those balancing tests on top of that. <laughs> so yeah, he just went, wanted to show me to the Comet Metal. <laughs> nah, nah, we already took that route before. All right, so that is now as clear as it can be, I guess. I mean, I guess I could have pointed at more star bits if I was feeling more daring, but eh, I just thought I would figure I would play off of star consistency and whatnot. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next parts when we explore more of World S.